Welcome back for another one guys. We are on the lake doing some fishing. I got a few hours to burn today and I'm just out here to catch some crappie. See if I can find them. We've got a lot of rain. The lake level's way up and uh, it says it's 61 degrees so it's gone up about two degrees from the last time I was out here on the lake. So hopefully these fish are a little bit more active and wanting to play and uh, hopefully we can find them. I've got the Hummingbird Helix 7. Put that on the boat this year. Had the Garmin Striker 4 on it in previous years. I'm telling you guys, it is like a big difference and I'm not affiliated with Hummingbird or anything like that. I'm just telling you guys that upgrading my electronics in this boat has put more fish in this boat. So I'm gonna keep using it today. My main things I use on it is down imaging and traditional sonar. That has been the ticket to finding these suspended fish. They're still, look. it looks like they're still pretty deep. They're not spawning quite yet. So we're gonna be looking between like 10 and 20 feet of water for these fish. Today's video is brought to you by Canadips. If you guys want to learn more about this, head over to the Canadips website. It is a CBD tobacco-free nicotine-free pouch. So it is uh, it's very similar to traditional tobacco pouches, just like that. So if you guys are looking to quit chewing or you just want a different taste or alternative, check out Canadips. They got a bunch of different flavors. Mango and mint are my favorite as well as the pina colada. So check them out if you guys want to learn some more. The, use the code and link down in the description to uh, get some money off your order. But let's start fishing guys. All right, we're going to get rigged up here using the old black and chartreuse sly shad from Rogers. And so I've got some feet, uh, I've got some fish marked down at about 25 feet of water depth. The lake has gone up significantly since I was out here last. So we're going to play around today, mark some fish. So we're going to give this a go using the 10 foot ACC crappie sticks rod. So we're going to drop down this jig into about, let's say it looks like about 22 feet. Let's see how we can do. The fish were kind of up over here though. Whoa, I've never really fished off the front at all, ever, I don't think. I mean, you could definitely put a trolling motor on it, but I don't, I don't know how steady that would be. Oh man, that's a good one. I thought I hit a stump. There we go. That's a freaking slab. Been working for it. That's a good one. Let's check the check the length. Probably won't even fit in the old Rogers slab checker. Nah, he's too big. Definitely bigger than 12. It's a dandy. Let's go do that again. If we just figure something out, we might be uh, we might be in business here. A lot shallower than I have been fishing, so we're gonna keep at it. We're gonna do that same thing again. See if we can catch another one. There we go, another one. That's a dandy. Oh, he's heavy. That's a big one. Oh, we're wrapped up good. Look at that toss. Oh my gosh. That's a freaking chunk. We're not keeping any today. But I think we got a, got a little bit of a pattern figured out here. There's some fish kind of stacked up in there. Let's do that again. I'm kind of just taking the trolling motor and going up to kind of where that jig hit and coasting back. We're gonna just kind of do a little back and forth trolling the jig in the water. Cut two like that, two good ones. So we're gonna, we're gonna keep at it here. There we go. Another little guy. 
right where you want it, right in the money. Just a light little tap on him, but felt it. There's another fish. There's what is that? Four fish now off this one little spot. So it's pretty productive. Well, we've been at it for a little while now, and uh, catching some fish today. Doing better than the last time we were out. Less wind, which is great. Hopefully this continues. But uh, I don't remember. I've caught like four or five off this spot now, and three earlier. So we got like eight or nine fish in the boat today. So pretty good in my book and I realized I got this new setup it's kind of janky it's like trying to use this new mic and hook it up to the GoPro well there was a issue with it if you guys couldn't tell there's no audio so um, try to speed that along in this video but we're gonna keep fishing we got a few more hours left to be on the lake probably about an hour and a half until I got to head back to the ramp and get going home so let's see if we can keep catching them okay now that we have audio again, let's take a big old drink and uh, drop this jig back down there. See if we can catch a few more. Hopefully, the spot's still hot and it didn't die out like the rest of them have after like two fish caught. So we'll we'll drop this down there again. See if we can give it give it a go, and uh, maybe another ten or fifteen minutes. If we don't get another bite, we'll. We'll cruise on down the line and see if we can catch some more. I'd like to put at least three or four more fish in the boat before the end of the day. Would have caught some good keepers, but I just don't have time to keep fish today. So we're throwing them back, just out here having a good time, playing with the electronics, figuring out this lake, and uh, getting ready for the spawn because it's coming on quick. I've uh, taken note of quite a few good spots out here to check out when the spawn starts going. So I think... This is a very productive trip. Every every time I've gone out on the lake, I'm just learning and taking in so much more information and finding more and more success every single time I go. So I think this is gonna be a really fun summer of fishing and I'm planning on doing more fishing videos. Um, I enjoy it. <laughs> I think it's a lot of fun. So we're gonna keep at it here and see if we can find some more hot spots to catch some fish and hopefully put a few more in the boat. Well, officially off the water. Uh, it wasn't a bad day of fishing at all. Caught a few and uh, starting to figure things out a little bit, which is good. That's my main goal out here this spring is to uh, play with all the electronics, play with the boat and hopefully catch a few fish and find out where they are. And every time I go out, catch a few more than I did the last time. So I think we are definitely on track for that right now. And it's just been a solid little afternoon catching some fish. Pretty solid day out on the lake, just a couple of hours out there catching some fish, it was pretty good. So if you guys enjoyed it, make sure to leave me a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. It means a lot when you guys do that. And I will catch you guys on the next one.